GSMCT. So today we are going to be doing a reaction video to House of the Dragon episode 5. Now before we get into this, I am going to remind you guys to please do not forget to press that like button, subscribe and let's get into this. So everyone is mourning. Everyone is mourning Renice and Melis. Yeah, but without their body. I don't know if they sent their their bodies to them. But I remember seeing the footage of Melis' head, you know, in King's Landing. <laughs> Why do the greens always have to make things so dramatic? Like, why do you have to be extra all the time? It always it is always so dramatic with them. If they accomplish something or if they do something, it's always dramatic. my god look at what they did to Melis and I'm gonna say this this is insane because doing this and showing the people there is two reactions that are gonna come out of this people are gonna feel like Renera is gonna take her revenge they know that she's gonna come for her revenge secondly you are showing the one thing that makes your house strong that keeps you in power Keeping the Tigerians in power. You are showing them that it is not that powerful. You are showing them that the one weapon you have, they could kill. They could kill it. It's insane. It's an abomination. Don't they realize we won the battle? Strange victory. If it was one. I thought the dragons was gods. Just me. You hear that? It's just meat. Yep. Oh my god, look at the way they're moving Aegon. Like they have racks on top of him, like covering him. They didn't even bring him in as a king. There, there is no honor in the way they bring him in. It's like a rat. It's like they put in some kind of animal or rat in that box. The 
way Allison is looking at uh, Eamon is just she she's giving the the bombastic side eye like you did this. It's, she feels like he did it. She knows he did it. Oh god, that is this that is disgusting. It's like the wounds are infected. I mean he wanted to put on Egon's the conqueror armor oh, now he they gotta peel it off him. <laughs> Imagine you were so eager to go to war drunk and put it on Aegon is the conqueror's armor just for people to peel it off you. Goodness. I'm going to die. I'm afraid I cannot say. Now, if you'll excuse me, Your Grace, these next hours are most critical. walk into this here he's and go in there looking at him as if this is thanksgiving what is it thanksgiving talking he's like yeah i'm happy that you your fucking has got this taunting me all my life i mean the way he's looking at him it's like you've taunted me all my life you deserve this he doesn't even show remorse someone will have to rule in his stead Amon have more sympathy and feel bad when he killed Luke than him Luke staring down his brother. He is furious with him. Like when he killed Luke, he felt bad. He felt bad killing Luke. But with Aegon, he's like, oh my childhood trauma came from you. <laughs> It's like, all oh, my childhood trauma came from you. You deserve this. You deserve more than this. All this standing above him, watching him like, a, like this is Thanksgiving or something. My goodness. What happened? We took the castle. Cost of some 900 men. So I've heard. I left a meager garrison behind to protect it. And the king's dragon. Sunfire was long in the dying. The king 
So Kristen, what befell him? His grace fought valiantly. Kristen Cole literally looks like he's checked out of this. He's like, what did I get myself into? He's now understanding the consequences of his actions. You thought you were going to run over an error. And because, oh, because you had a, a, a quickie one time, a sneaky link one time, all of a sudden you thought you knew her. And now you're starting to understand, yeah, she's going to fight back. Raymond? I could not say. And Rook's rest are gone. We still have no ground army but the one we hope that Damon will raise. He who has left us. After some marital spat. Do you take issue with me, Sir Alfred? My loyalty to you is proven, my queen. Your loyalty, perhaps. But your willingness to give me deference in a time of war. I could never doubt your capability or your quickness of mind it is merely that the gentler sex heretofore has not been much privy to the strategies of battle or their execution there has been peace in our lifetime You've seen no more battles than I have. True. Because the way they're acting, they're acting as if they've been in 10,000 battles. Like they have, you know, uh, all this experience. No, you don't. Nobody here has it. They've been peace for a very, very long time. So I don't know where they're getting all this experience from. Send to Maidenpool and to Cracklaw Point. Let them man their garrisons and give them stores or weapons if they find them wanting. If Cole pursues his campaign, our allies must be we ready. We must answer Rook's rest. And Duskendale. They are lost already. But Vega is depleted after such a hard-fought battle. If Egon is dead, we will soon know it. It would be a victory in name only. They will soon prop up another in his stead. Time is ripe. If we can strike King's Landing before that dragon is recovered. Then I myself must do it. My queen, you are the crown. It is out of the question. What would you have me do? She's frustrated. She is frustrated. I mean, she just lost Melise and Princess Renice. She, she, she's like, at this point, what do you want? At this point, what do you want? Jace? Where are you going? Harren Hall. To treat with the Damon. Rhaenys is fallen. He must affirm his loyalty to my mother and report his standing. And you think you will tame him? When the Queen herself could not? My mother gladly sends you away. To scout, to 
fight. Whilst I'm here being forced to play the coddled princeling, it's humiliating, Bela. Jace is so bold. I, I like the fire in him. It's grow he is growing on me. Yeah. And he protects you. You are the succession. Then I must be seen to act for her claim and mine. I can sit still no longer. I must act. The phrase. They control the crossing at the Twins. Craig and Stark's greybeards are marching south. If his men had a direct route into the Riverlands, we would not have to wait for Dame to act. I will treat with the phrase to secure it. She will not like it. Then don't tell her. I just hope he comes back alive. Jeez. Not until I'm away. The hour is late. My dragon is hungry. You have no choice but to submit. Our terms are simple, Lord Bracken. Renounce the false King Aegon as a usurper. Bend the knee to me. Or your house burns. I would sooner be the Lord of Bones and cinders than bend my knee before some heathen blackwood cunt and his hired dragon whoa mind your words then daemon is not known to be very patient he's not known to be civil how oh, goodness the brackens were a people hatched out of the deepest of the seven hells your grace it would be a kindness to oblige them and send them back whence they came Did your brother's head keep on its way back to you, Willem? I heard the maggots got to it. That is quite the impression, Lord Bracken. But alas, not an answer. <laughs> we choose fire. They are very good loyalists. I did not think they would be so eager to die. Wow, he, he even Damon is surprised. It's like they would just die. Damn. Now those are the kind of people he probably wants to be following him. They made their choice. You should have indulged them. I need them alive. I came here to raise swords, not corpses. But now you see what my house has known for generations. They are pig-headed, intransigent. They would rather burn than succumb. Exactly the kind of men I need. Then perhaps you could try less fighting and more... ...persuading. But every man has a weakness. You take my meaning then. Uh, 
over the centuries. Many and more armies have broken themselves against my bloody gate. Are you listening? My lady. The eerie itself is impregnable. Unless, of course, we're descended upon from the sky. You promised the Queen Rhaenyra 15,000 swords. In return for protection. A dragon. Then she has exceeded your terms. She sent two. Both still wet from the egg. <gasps> I have hunting hounds that are more fearsome. They are dragons nonetheless. I do not recall you specifying the size of the beast in your request. Well, she should have. She should have specified she wanted a grown dragon. <laughs> they never played her on this one. Will you goad me, child? When your bread and shelter now depend on my pleasure. The dragons will grow. In time. I don't have time. I mislike feeling powerless. So do I. Well, I think both of them both have a common interest in that. They both feel the same way. So they could find definitely a common ground and work together nicely. This will be your chamber. I'll expect you at supper this evening. The way they spoke at my small council today. Do they hold you responsible for Rhaenys and her dragon? I would rather they had. They speak around me, not to me. Oh, they would make me queen, but they wish to keep me here, confined. They betray their own smallness. In truth, I cannot fault them. I am now the sovereign. I cannot do as I please. Do not prepare me to fight. If I had been a son. A sword thrust into my hand the moment I could walk. Yeah, instead they gave him a cop to, to, to be the cop bearer. I think if you know that this is the person you wanted to be the, to sit on the throne, you should have Vesely should have trained her much more better, especially in combat. He failed in that part. If you really knew you wanted her in the throne, you should have prepared her for every aspect, not to make her a cup beer. Instead, I was given my father's cup. Taught the name of every lord and castle between Storm's End and the Twins. But not the difference between Hilt and Foible. Will you send to him? For too long I have looked to him for strength. If I must be supplicant to my own husband, what does that make me? I do not know my part, Masaria. Kristen Cole made a mistake. Parading a dragon's head through the streets like a prize of war. But the people see an ill omen. <laughs> yes, as do I. They are afraid. Bread is scarce. 
the king has fallen, they whispered to each other that when Viserys lived, there was peace. But will whispers tear down stone? Or break shields? Do not underestimate your subjects. They are a thousand thousand living in the shadow of the Red Keep and forgotten. For too long. And you think they will turn to me? To the discontented, rumors are feed. Your Grace. What you cannot do, let others do for you. There is more than one way to fight a war. I love Masaria. She always thinks ahead. She knows how the people think. She understands how things work. She does. And I feel like Renera is going to get a lot out of her. Your brother had great love in his heart. <sighs> but he lacked your constitution. Viserys was unsuited for the crown. But here. Oh my god, my head hurts. Who is this now? Who is he doing this with now? Damon, you were made to wear it. My favorite son. Oh my fucking god. Like, no friends. We've put up with incest in this show. Why? Why do you have to push the boundary? Like, we literally look away. I mean, I get it. You have a problem with your niece, wife, you know. But Jesus Christ, Damon, I don't know what kind of mommy issues you have, but get therapy. What the hell is this? We've put up with a lot in this show. Incest? Niece, wife, or sister, wife. I don't know what we are gonna go through the next episode. Jesus, but your mom, goodness. I mean, I've only already crossed. You guys have crossed the line and incest already. Now we're gonna go a little bit more further and fuck this shit up some more. Get a grip, jeez. And please, can somebody get this man out of Harlem Hall? Because how many episodes do we need to see him in st still in here? I'm tired of watching him still in Harlem Hall. Can we get him somewhere else? I get it. He's miserable. Can we get him out of here? Oh. Show of strength. I believe Willem Blackwood is bringing House Bracken to heal. We must ready the castle to receive a great host. There are more injuries within. Injuries we cannot see. We are grateful for your works, Grand Maester. Has he woken? No. I must admit, I'm not sure he will ever wake. I have plied my crafts to their fullest extent. Our king's fate lies with the gods now. A king cannot ruin his sleep. 
The realm will have noticed his absence. Let them hear of his great deeds at Rook's Rest. But now we must name a regent to take his place. Did you have a candidate in mind, Your Grace? I myself served in this role for my husband. I am well prepared to do it again. You played your part admirably in a time of peace, Your Grace, but circumstances have changed. The fuck are they talking about in the time of peace? None of these assholes have seen war. <laughs> ah. And here I had forgotten. The king does not lack for heirs. The obvious choice is his immediate successor. Prince Aemon. Agreed. Aemon is young. And his lack of restraint has already cost us dearly. It is experience that offers the surest path to security. Queen Alison ably shouldered the duties of the realm when her husband's health failed him. Experience is valuable, yes, but the Dowager Queen is a woman. I am no stranger to rule or to sitting at this council. Aemond is a fearsome dragon rider. His skill is best employed in the field. But my experience is needed here, at this table. No offence was meant, Your Grace, but... At a time when we must show strength. Lord Laris. I agree, Your Grace. It must be Prince Aymond. What would it say if, in response to Rhaenyra's crowning, we raised up a woman of our own? Oh, shit. This is a rat to her. Face. Girl, you were out here fighting for this throne. I mean, that is the thing. Viserys gave her a leeway for her to rule when he was sick instead of calling Renera to, you know, do the job that Alison was doing. Viserys is also to be blamed for this. He should have called back his daughter when he was sick to take over the duties. But I'm pretty sure he didn't want to start fighting. So he allowed Alison to, you know, take charge. And now she's thinking, oh my God, they're going to let me be Queen Regent. Well, let's see how the shits go down because they're already telling her to her face that she's a woman. Mm -hmm. You wanted to take over Rhaenyra's throne. How is it, how is it going to work out for you now? Let's see. But, um... Eamon is the next in line. It must be him. It's agreed, then. <laughs> Ooh, no child. You were out here talking about Renara being a woman. And yet, you, you want to sit on that throne, girl. You, you want to sit on the throne. Look at you. Ain't you the biggest naive hypocrites out here? Like they were gonna they were gonna choose you. Like she really thought they're gonna choose her. Even Christian Cole, all that booty Christian Cole have been getting, he still didn't pick you, did he? Okay, alright. What is our standing in the river? The banners of House Tully are in disarray, Your Grace. Your brother's host to meet Damon. You should quicken his pace. <laughs> heavy on the heavy breathing. 
Ja, ze... Ah, ah. You thought you could do this shit to another woman. You thought they were gonna... Like, you started this whole shit. You thought they were gonna let you in and sit on that throne. She's giving one of those people that, you know, they're out there doing some crazy shit and when the folks there together we turn around and bite them and do them wrong they're like i didn't know the tiger was gonna eat my face you didn't know that the people you appointed to sit on this table mainly because your son aegon is a man we're gonna turn around and be like nope you're not gonna be you're not gonna be in charge and you thought, telling them that, oh, the time my husband was sick, I was ruling shit. They were going to be like, yeah, nah, girl. Your whole, you know, discussion here, your whole thing here is about putting a man on the throne. Let's not forget about that. You two, you wanted to take that away from Renara and you, you, you suffering the consequence. So breathe normal, please. Stop on the he heavy breathing thing. Check the rivermen while their banners are in disarray. I shall send Lord Jason encouragement. What else? We might turn our attention to the small folk here in King's Landing. They have grown weary of the sea snakes blockade. So have we all. are fleeing the city, spreading word of their fear and unrest. Oh, I think she realized now. Yeah. You wanted one rule for Renera, but another for you. And now they're treating you is exactly the way you wanted them to treat Renera. You mad? No, be rejoice. Be happy. Celebrate. I don't know why she's mad. She should be celebrating right now. Oh, you don't like the treatment? Okay. Mm. Then let the gates be closed. No one is to leave or enter save with our consent. Merchants, so forth. What are your tasks? We'll meet again at first light. Oh, and someone cut down the fucking rat catchers. For all we know, every road leads into the dragon's teeth. Like the one they carted through the streets. You think Rhaenyra will let such an affront go unchallenged? should make for Tumbleton. My brother will have room. You would have me turn beggar. By all means. Stay and wait for his empty promises, husband. With them you can feed the mouths of ghosts. You should be celebrating right now. Oh, you don't like the tree. Presumed you'd be here, seeing faithfully to the Prince Regent's commands. Eamon is the next in line. It is the order of things. You know what he is. Has your loyalty faded? Does it flourish only at night and flee the sunrise like a moth? What I saw at Rook's Rest. What? What did you see?
That armor melted. There were men walking, they were on fire. We have given the war to the dragons. The dragon rider should lead us. And what of justice? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what Christine was thinking when he decided to go to Rook Rest. Like, you thought Renera was just going to sit that cool. I, I don't understand how these people think. Do they think Renera to be so weak? Like, her counsel. Let's just talk about her counsel alone. They've been giving that girl hell. Do you think they are so weak to let you go to Rook Rest and be a fucking menace no now you understand whatever you do has consequences the other person also have dragon and the other person also has fiery cancel just as much as you guys are fiery over here oh my god over there they're nuts just because renera is a very calm person she this war would have started a long time ago if not for renice and renera being a, a, a very calm and considerate people Left to the council, you guys would have already been in war for a long time. Of temperance or is strength now to be our only god? So you cast me aside. Have I not spared you? What we must do now is terrible. Will you preside over it? Is this who you are, Alison? I didn't ask to be spared. He said, is this who you are, Alison? <laughs> what do you think? You think she was going to run away and go selfish with you? Nah. Now, this is the, I mean, Renera already told her the time she tried to take out, you know, Luke's eyes, that they see you for what you were. I guess Christian didn't see her then. He was still blind. I did not give you leave to speak my name. I don't know. You cannot you keep us forward. here! To return to your homes! You want me! Jason Lannister is marshalling to the west. We need to check him before he reaches River Run. That requires passage. And if Stark's army is too slow? The wind's rising. Winter's nigh upon us. Our hesitance does not lie in Rhaenyra as queen. Nor in the ruminations of Lord Tully, the oaf. Our fear lies in Vega. In Vega, like Jesaris, did he, did he come without a dragon in here? They're talking about Vega. Nah, girl. 
You about to find out it's not only bigger that can break fire. You fear a dragon, leagues away, when my own sits outside your walls. Do you offer us your protection? I do. And the protection of my uncle. Ooh, don't be out here making promises for Damon. We know he is unpredictable. Jeez. And Damon, I'm sure, has consented to this? He will do as his queen commands. Laris Strong has been relieved of his castle. Does the Queen intend to raise up a new Lord? You want Taron Hall? that my mother will want more than your crossing oh I love him in this part I mean Jess is very good looking he's a good looking lad he's a very good looking lad though I don't know why we don't talk about him more is it because he doesn't have a silver hair uh. what does her grace desire Bent knees. <laughs> the Blackens had their chance to do as I required. They will perhaps think better of their decision if their children's lives are staked on it. Is that the kind of army you would raise? And you hate you. Yeah, we serve you under duress. Or they say we deserve me or treat them fairly. Set an example for the rest of the Riverlands to follow. And once again, in the name of power, it's the weak and the women who must endure. The realm will suffer if fame and one eye rules. You should pray you never meet someone. They will cut you down soon as wish you good day. I'd had the same thing about you. Yeah, because the both of them sound the same. They have the same tempo. But I'll cross you no further. I'm sure your tactics are, after all, approved by the Queen. She cannot succeed, Alice. Even if I willed it to be so. The people who support her will not be led by her. They look to a man for strength. Who's better suited to it? The high towers with their scheming? Or Viserys' first true heir? When I take King's Landing, Rhaenyra is welcome to join me there and take her place by my side. King and Queen. Wow. Okay, at least he still got Rhaenyra in his mind, so... But he wants to be a king still, like a king-king. And so Rhaenyra is gonna be, what is she? Queen Regent? I hope he's not planning on doing that shit. <laughs> Woo! It's gonna be tough. Let's see. Or they would just both rule as king and queen, the way he said it, no region inside. Queen Rhaenyra wishes to name you Hand. 
Even the death of my wife does not content her. I should not ask enough of my house. It is a sign of her great esteem. Or does she think the position will compensate me for my loss? Renice was not only your wife. Not a thing to be taken from you. She was a Targaryen princess. The queen who never was, and she flew to Rook's rest of her own will. In defense of her kin. And she died. She died as she would have wished to die. With honor, in Dragonfire. The way my mother chose. And the way I myself wish to meet my end. Oh my God, that is sad and touching at the same time. Girl, I don't want to die in any goddamn Dragonfire. Please stay alive. Somebody needs to be alive. Grieve my grandmother who loved me. But I carry her on with me. I will see Rhaenyra ascend the Iron Throne as Rhaenys wished. As Rhaenys herself should have. You yourself may do as you see fit. You were correct. In saying our best hope of an army is with Damon. And I have perhaps erred in waiting for him to prove himself. I wish you to go to Harrenhal. Wow, she's sending Alfred to, I don't know. Are you removing me from your council? It's Alfred. I, I will not deny you have tried my patience of late. Oh, she, he's tried all our patience. He has tried all of our patience. Yeah. Or that I would prefer a council more inclined to champion their queen, but... but you and your house served my father well. And I know you will never accept the Hightower claim. Renera is very clever. She knows. I mean, th this decision is wise to send him over there because, goodness God, I'm tired of Harlan Hall. Can somebody remove Damon from there? I am tired. How many episodes do we have to go because of this? We get it. He's, trauma he's traumatized. We get it. He's getting drugged by uh, Alice. Jeez. How many episodes? There are so many episodes that we are going to get. So much. Is it how many episodes are they trying to drop? And we already spent how many in Harlan Hall? Please, God, somebody get him out of there. Uh -huh. Not while I live, Your Grace. We cannot challenge King's Landing without the Riverlands. But I will not send a message by Raven for Damon to disregard. I ask you to reason with him. Find out his state of mind. and his intentions. Intentions? Whether he means to raise a host for me or for himself.
He would not dare. <laughs> if you know Damon to lack in daring. Oh, he definitely daring. He would not dare. Have you met Damon? Yeah, he definitely over there doing a lot of daring. Go now with haste. I'll send good men to see to your safety. House Bracken have been brought to heel at the hands of Willem Blackwood. That news is stale. <laughs> yes. There have been um, complications. The sacred seps on Bracken lands were looted. And burned. As were the fields and farms. The livestock was stolen and... And our peasants put to the sword. They pursued the women and the children. <laughs> oh, now they were never really facing challenges. The Brackens have now agreed to fly, to, to be uh, on Green Venera's side. But the black is it Blackwood? They are not letting it go. They, they, they. I mean, Damon did say, you know, try. He did give his word and say, you know what? Try to persuade them. Now they are accepting. Now that there is another problem. They still be getting their hands put on them. Ah, oh, goodness. There were works of barbarity. Punishing Bracken for his own treasons is one thing. I. But these other acts... The Brackens were given their chance. They would not see reason. The Black... ...have exploited the war for the Crown to visit atrocities upon I their old rivals. Share... ...their quarrels, and I tell you there is no honour in a fight such as honor. this. Honour! What of common decency? These beasts... ...proudly carried the banner of House Targaryen. Red Dragon on Black. Damn, they see fighting each other over there. They, they're now all together in seven Renera, but they're still throwing hands. At this point, you're gonna have to let one of them have it. Move along, lass. I have an errand. the Lady Miss Haria. I thought she was dead. Would she die without collecting her due? I must see an old friend. Most people want out these days. It seems Carlos is going to take his place as Hand of the Queen. Was it worth the price? First time Alice never shown any kind of affection. And the affection came because, let's not forget, she couldn't be Queen Regent. Visenya. Bagar's first rider. And the first wielder of Dark Sister.
I hope you do not mean to use her as an example. Why shouldn't I? Well, it was a long time ago. You chafed at being prevented from action. Imagine, my lord, I'm a dragon rider as well. With a war being fought over my ascension. And yet, I must wait here. Always prudent. Sending others to fight and be felled in my name. Even you've managed to do your part. You are the queen. The tie that binds us. No harm can come and to you. And you are my son, and I did not give you leave to go. You do not give me leave to go to anything. But who else is there? Rhaenys is dead and Baylor cannot bear the burden alone. And when Aemond comes hunting for you, your dragon is young. Will you fly before Vega as Luke did? Perhaps Damon could... Damon is not here. And Eamon now rules in King's Landing. Is Aegon dead? Dead or alive, we have no answer for Vega. Eamon will not wait long to press his advantage, and then what? I have done all I can from here, sent my messages, invoked my alliances. But if all else fails, it is I who must fight. Vagar is big, but Cyrax is quicker. So was Melis. Melis fought two dragons and one of them is slain. Shall I fight for my birthright, or shall I wait here until we are all destroyed? You can have a point. I mean, you are also... I mean, Jace is also the heir. He needs to also think about that. And I feel like uh, Renera is right in that point. But the boy did come back safe. So he probably was very cautious. There are those of our line who never ruled. Those who married into other noble houses. Their children born with other names. A generation ago or more. Blood would be thin. And yet. The dragon will only accept a dragon lord to ride it. Also say the histories. Valyrian histories. Written to gild us in glory. <laughs> Are you suggesting we put a malister on a dragon? A tarly. It's better than death and defeat. He's got a point. Ah, I love the fact that he brought this idea to her. There are records here, surely, of our line. And of those who fell out of it. There could be scores of them. So that was episode 5 of House of the Dragons. Now, I totally enjoy the, this episode, but I, I am begging, please. 
Somebody get Damon out of Iron Hole. Somebody please get him out of there. I don't want to see the next episode of him in that place again. Please. We are exhausted. Put him somewhere else. And as for Eamon, I'm just going to say he's just excited. He's like, that's what you get. That's what you get for taunting me. And I kind of feel like he took out his anger on Luke. You know, he took out his anger on Luceris because he couldn't take out that anger on the real perpetrator, which is his brother, because he is the heir. You know, he was the heir. His, his mom was probably telling him that and from the time he was a kid. So he couldn't take out that anger on him. So he, he bossed out and literally took out that anger on poor Luke. And that's why I feel like he felt more bad when he took out Luke than when he literally burned Aemon, I mean, burned Aegon to ashes. It's like, it's like, look at you laying down looking like a crispy hockey. You know, now with that being said, I'm going to say this. Please do not forget to press that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this particular episode in the commentary section. And I will see you all on the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.